Good morning, my grade two students. Hope that you are all okay and great. And hope that you are working hard at home. Today we will complete reading our story, The Sign Maker's Assistant by Ted Arnold. As we said before, with the meaning of the word sign maker, sign, is a, sign maker is a compound word from sign and maker. Okay, the person who makes sign. And assistant means helper. So the sign maker assist, uh, assistant means the sign maker helper. What is the theme of our story? The theme means the question of the week. So here the theme, the theme is how can we be responsible when we make a mistake? What do you do if you make a mistake? First, I have to say sorry and apologize. Then you have to fix up the mistake. It means to correct your mistake. What is the gender of our story? The sign maker's assistant genre is humorous fiction. Humorous fiction means it's a funny story, makes you, uh, makes you laugh, and it's about imaginary people and events. Imaginary people and events cannot happen in our real life. So this story is a funny story, but it cannot happen in our real life. Now let's read together. The Sign Maker's Assistant by Ted Arnold. Everyone in town agreed. The old sign maker did the finest work for miles around. Under his brush, ordinary letters became beautiful words. Words of wisdom, words of warning, or word that simply said which doer to use. When he painted stop, people thought because the sign looked so important. When he painted please keep all the grass, they kept up because the sign was polite and sensible. When he painted got food, they just naturally became hungry. People thanked the sign maker and paid well. But yet the kind old man never failed to say, I couldn't have done it without Norman's help. Who's Norman, girls? Norman was the sign maker's assistant. Each day after school, he cut wood mixed colors and painted simple signs. Soon I'll have a shop of my own, said Norman. Norman wanted a shop or a sign a shop like the sign maker. Perhaps, answered the sign maker, but not before you clean these brushes. One day, after his work was done, Norman stood at a window over the sign shop and watched people. They stopped at the stop sign, they entered and, uh, at the enter sign, and they add under the good food sign. They do whatever the signs say, said Norman to himself. I wonder. He crept into the shop, moved slowly to the shop while the sign maker nabbed while he was sleeping. With brush and board, he painted a sign of his own. Early the next morning, he put up the sign, then ran back to his window to watch. No school, muttered the principal. How could I forget such a thing? No one informed me, said the teacher. Hooray! cheered the children, and everyone went home. 
This is great, cried Norman. He looked around, around town for another idea. Oh, he said at last, there, there is something I have always wanted to do. The following day, Norman jumped from the top of the fountain in the park as he swam. He thought to himself, I can do lots of things with signs. Ideas filled his head. Can you jump? Can you swim in a fountain? Can you jump and swim in a fountain? Of course not. But here, the sign maker assistant or the uh, or Norman make a sign for himself to let him or to allow himself to swim in the fountain. That afternoon, when Norman went to work, uh, the sign maker said, I must drive to the next town and paint a large sign on the storefront. I will return tomorrow evening, so please look the shot tonight. Close the shot today, and I will come back tomorrow. As soon as the sign maker was gone, Norman started making signs. He painted for hours and hours and hours. In the morning, people discovered new signs all around town, so he draw a sign for the fountain then eat your hat can you eat your hat but people listen to his sign and all of them add their hats by norman a present he wrote uh, put a sign on a toy shop and he wrote here you uh, have to buy a present or a gift for norman so everyone in the town starts to buy him a gift. Norman watched it at all and laughed. He started to laugh at them. And also here he put a sign means go back three spaces. If you are walking Will you go back for three spaces again? We are moving forward, not backward. So here, it's not allowed. And here, knock heads. Knock your heads together. Can you knock your heads together? Of course not. But soon he saw people becoming angry. Of course people will be so angry. The sign maker is playing the tricks, they shouted. He has made fools of us. He laughed at us and he makes many tricks on us. The teacher tore down the new school today sign. He threw it away and suddenly people were tearing down all the signs. They throwing all the signs. Not just the new ones, but every sign the sign maker had ever painted. The good signs and the wrong signs. Then the real trouble starts. Without store sign, shoppers became confused. The shopper will not know where is the restaurant and where is the supermarket, where is the show market. And where is the clothes market? Without the stop sign, drivers didn't know when to stop, so many accidents were there. Without street signs, firemen became lost because they don't know where is the streets. In the evening, when the sign maker returned from, uh, from his work in the next town, he knew nothing of Norman's tricks. An angry crowd of people, some people, met him at the back door of his shop and chased him into the woods. As Norman watched, 
he suddenly realized that without science and without the sign maker, the town was in danger. It's all my fault, cried Norman, but no one lis was listening to him. Later that night, the sign maker returned and saw the light on his, on, in his shop. Norman was feverishly painting. He was shivering and painting. While the town slept and the sign maker watched, Norman put a stop sign, shop sign, street signs, danger signs and welcome signs in and out signs, large and small signs, new and beautiful signs. He returned all his present, he gave back all the gifts and cleared away the garbage and cleaned the garbage at the grocery store. It was morning when he finished putting up his last sign for the entire town to see. Then Norman packed his things and locked up the shop. He closed the shop, but as he returned to go, he discovered the sign maker and all town's people gathered at the door, all of them waiting him on the door. I know you are angry with me for what I did, said Norman with downcast eyes, so I'm leaving. Oh, we, are, we were angry, right, answered the school principal. But we were also fools for obtaining signs without thinking. We have to think before doing things. You told us you are sorry, said the sign maker, and you fixed your mistakes. So stay and work hard. One day, this shop may be yours. Perhaps, answered Norman hugging the old man, but not before I finish cleaning those precious. Here's the story, girls, and now we are from this story, we saw that Norman here is a responsible person. Why he is a, a responsible person? Because when he did a mistake, he didn't uh, run away and leave the sign maker, no. First, he said sorry for the sign maker and for all the townspeople, and then he fixed his mistake. He corrected his mistake. He removed all the wrong signs and he put a uh, correct signs and many, many beautiful signs. So here he fixed his mistake. Okay, so for, uh, we have to be responsible. We have to fix our mistakes and not to run away and refuse our mistakes. Goodbye, girls, and see you again tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye.